many times the client asks us to render with different alternatives and materials and we don't want to wait for each rendering we want to use batch rendering here we can get help from the scene state scene state has a lot of features and we already talked about hiding annoying objects in batch renders but its capabilities do not end here and today we want to talk about another one of its capabilities if you haven't seen our previous video about scene state I suggest you watch it through the link at the top of the page. Hello, welcome to MimViz. In this scene, we have prepared a frame and we are going to present it to the employer. Except that the furniture is going to change. That means we have to render with two different sets of furniture. Also, for more convenience, we want to use batch rendering. You can see the batch rendering video in the link at the top of the page. Well, this is a set of furniture and a second set placed in a separate layer. We also want to render the second set with two different materials. And all these renderings are done with just one click. So two renderings with different sets of furniture and another rendering with different materials in the second set. And of course, scene state can help us a lot. Open the scene state from the tools menu. Let's not forget that both layers should be on, then give the changes and save them in each scene state. To start, we select one of the furniture sets and hide it. Then we save the first state. Well, here, in addition to selecting object properties, which saves the hiding of objects. We must also save the properties of the material because we have changes in the material. Name it. Alternative 1 and Material 1 and save it. Unhide all the objects and select and hide another set of furniture. In the scene state, we save it with the name Alternative 2 and Material 1. Well, now we want to change the material of this furniture. Let us use the material from the previous set for it. We open the Material Editor. We create a new view called Test. We unhide the objects and pick the material of the previous set to assign it to the new furniture. We move the desired furniture to isolate mode with Alt and Q. We go to the perspective view so that we can see it easily. Open the group object to apply the changes. Well, since the group of this sofa is not opened, it probably has a multi-sub material. Yes, that's right. We select these three items and attribute the material of the first set of furniture to them. We also attribute the material to ID number one. Well, there seems to be a problem with the material. Let me check it. Well, as you can see, there is a problem with displaying the material. If the material was not shown in the viewport, we can select shaded material with map in the view menu.
Well, we select all the objects and close them. Turn on the turned off layer again. Now we have to hide the previous set. In the scene state, we save the second set of furniture whose material has also changed. In the name of Alternative 2 and Material 2, and finally save to test that the states have been created correctly, we restore the states in the floating viewport. We exit clay mode to see the material. The first mode. It is true. We restore the second mode. And the third mode. Well, we saw that everything is ready. I return to the first state. It's time to go to the rendering menu and batch render. Well, we add a view. The camera and storage path are fixed in all views. We set its format to JPEG. We also adjust its name. Now we select the scene state for it. We take two copies of this view and modify their names. we select the scene state for the next two views. Now just press the render key so that all modes are rendered and saved. You can see that all the states are rendered and saved in order without wasting our time. Thank you for being with us. Subscribe and like us to support us and produce more videos. Also, if you need a subject to produce a tutorial, comment for us. Bye until the next tutorials.